Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friends, there's no better place to find a ray of hope than in the precious light of God's holy and wonderful Word, the Holy Bible. Let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word, your Bible, and turn with me to the fifth chapter of Mark's Gospel, Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 34. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's have that fresh encounter with God and His wonderful Word today. Well, goodness, just not a better way to start a new day than a hot cup of coffee and digging into the truth of God's Holy Word. Well, friend, over in the fifth chapter of Mark's Gospel, verse number 34, the Bible says here, And Jesus said unto her, Daughter, daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. And I pray that God will add his blessing to the reading of that marvelous word. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that is titled, Jesus' Touch. Jesus' Touch is Really Enough. You know, uh, whenever we look at this passage of Scripture, I get from this that Jesus cares. In fact, he cares about every thing that you go through in this life. He cares about every part of you. He cares about your spirit. He cares about your soul. And he certainly cares about your body. And a good example of this is found in Mark's Gospel chapter 5 when he healed a woman who had been suffering with an issue of blood for more than 12 years. Now, it's hard to imagine just how this woman maintained her hope for healing, especially after so many doctors had failed in her finances. Everything that she owned, she had spent it in trying to find uh, a healing of her condition. No doubt the emotional toll would have been terrible if you stop and you think about what she must have suffered. Now, according to Jewish law, she would have been considered unclean and would not be permitted to touch others or embrace them. Can you imagine not being able to touch anybody for the length of 12 long years? Imagine doing without anyone's loving caress for 12 long years years. But not only does Jesus heal her physical disease, he reaches in and touches her spiritual and emotional disease as well. And by accepting uh, her touch to the hem of his clothes and blessing it, she is made completely whole. Now, friend, understand that Jesus does this for us as well. No matter how complex and disillusioning our lives may be, Jesus refuses to turn his back on you. You may be the lowest, vile sinner in the world. Jesus will still touch you. Jesus loves you. This I know. For my Bible tells me so. Friend, that is the gospel in a nutshell. Jesus loves you. This I know. For my Bible tells me so. Jesus refuses to turn his back on you. Now, you can turn your back on him, but he'll never turn his back on you. He's constantly reaching out his loving hand to put uh, his hand on you, to give you that special touch that is just enough to pull you out of the miry clay of sin and set you on a solid rock. 
Yes, my friend, Jesus refuses, I'll say it again, to turn his back on you. Uh, just like the woman in our text today, if you'll reach out to him, he will comfort you. Jesus will comfort you and not only meet your outward needs, but he'll deal with your inward needs as well. Friend, I am so thankful that we serve a God that will meet our deepest needs. He'll reach into our lives physically and touch our bodies. He'll reach into our spirits and our souls and touch us and heal us emotionally and spiritually. For His healing is ultimate healing. And what a great God He is. I remind you as I close, Jesus said, He that lives and believes in me never dies. Hallelujah. Friend, that's an ultimate healing. When you get to know him and he lays his personal touch of salvation on your life, he sets you free. And whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion. We thank you for this woman's faith that just had enough faith to just touch the hem of your robe. And God, she was made whole. And Lord, uh, you made the statement, and the thing that thrills me is you called her daughter. God, thank you for calling us your sons and daughters. And thank you for delivering us from the plague of sin and all these other things that easily beset us. Help us always trust and look to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray that uh, you will make a difference in your world today. You know, if you get out today, there's somebody that's always needing that special touch from the Master's hand. And you know, your life could be the only Bible they'll ever see. So let them not so much see you, but let them see the Jesus that lives in you. Uh, in everything you say, in everything that you do, point people to Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.